Hi, it's me, Eugene. I haven't been on social media for a long time because I feel like it does impede on knowledge. My mom said it's okay if I use it for educational purposes. So the first thing, oh, by the way, before I start my video, I just want to say that if Samantha G from, from math class is watching this, I sniffed your hair, not because I think you're pretty and I like you, I sniffed your hair because I think you're gross. And I don't, and I don't like you. Anyway, the first thing that I'm going to be teaching is about NFTs. It's a non-fungible token, so let's just break that down. The biggest difference between non-fungible non -fungible tokens and fungible tokens is, is the type of content that they hold. Fungible token holds value, for example, a dollar. Or in the crypto world, let's just use Bitcoin. And a non-fungible token holds different type of content like artwork or like a deed of some sort. The way that you prove that you have ownership of it is encrypted in the blockchain. The blockchain allows you to prove that you have ownership of this intangible piece of artwork or whatever, whatever that you own. The blockchain will prove that you're the sole owner of it, so that's really cool. So for example, an NFT Let's say I own a Chihuahua, which is my favorite NFT, and I, and I do own one. But let's say I own that Chihuahua. That Chihuahua is encrypted in the blockchain technology. I am the sole owner of it. You can't have it unless I sell it to you. If you're new to this world and you want to get into it, I suggest that you join Chihuahuas. It's my... Mom! I'm making a video. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just making my video with my friends. No, I'm not talking about something else. I'm not talking about Samantha. Yes, I apologize. Anyway, that has been my lesson on fungible versus non-fungible tokens. If you have any more questions, I can absolutely expand on this point. You can just let me know. Also, Samantha, I think you're gross.